This thick and hazy smoke has had people all over northeastern Pennsylvania not only curious but concerned. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Emily Allegrucci checked in with an asthma expert on what this really means for air quality. Emily joins us now live on the roof where the effects are still present up there. Emily. Good evening, Nick. You may not be able to see the haze right now, but you can certainly still feel it. The smell of the smoke and even the taste are still very much present. I had the chance to speak with professionals about the concerns of people in the area and what they could do to fix it. Thick smoke has crossed the Canadian border and filled the skies of northeastern Pennsylvania. But the sight of the haze was not the first thing people noticed. This morning I went outside to turn the sprinkler on and it was about 4.30 in the morning. I thought maybe somebody was burning their fire because it was a little chilly in the neighborhood. Locals were first able to smell and even taste the smoke from thousands of miles away. When I came out this morning when it was lighter, you see all the smoke. And then I heard it was something coming from Canada from the wildfires. The smoke from the Canadian wildfires has spread all over our area and many we spoke to say they're worried. Now have you ever seen anything like this? This is actually the first time I've seen it quite this bad. The thick haze stands as a concern for more than just visibility issues. This sort of air quality can cause problems for even the healthiest of people. It's so bad that's not just people with asthma but everybody is at risk for getting some kind of problems with the breathing and coughing. Although the smoky air is a threat to everyone, those with asthma have a much higher risk of getting a more severe reaction. These airways are too sensitive. They're hyperreactive to triggers. Different people have different triggers, depending on the person. Triggers might be cold air or exercise. Triggers might be an irritant like cigarette smoke or perfume or this terrible pollution we're having now. Experts say the best treatment is to stay inside if possible and wait for the smoke to clear out. Anytime there's an irritant like this, you stay inside, close the windows. If you have an air purifier, a HEPA filter, something like that would be a very good idea. Uh, if you have to go outside, a mask would be a good idea also. Experts say they do expect the haze to last for a few more days in the area and urge people to stay inside when they can to avoid the negative effects. Nick, back to you. You can feel it in your throat too after a while. Emily Allegrucci reporting on the rooftop tonight. Thanks, Emily.